Hi there, I'm Kevin Davey and today I'm going to talk to you about an algo entry for trading that actually works. So let's get started. Before we get started, if you're not on my free email list for algo trading information, well you should be. Just hit the QR code, type in the address you see on the screen, and you'll get signed up and you'll get this free mini S&P algo strategy. So in this video, I'm going to give you an entry that works without any sales pitches. And I'm also going to show you exactly where it works. Okay, so let's take a look. Now realize, I talk about this in other videos, but entries are only part of the puzzle. So yeah, it's good to have a good entry, but remember, there's a lot of other things that go into having a good strategy and to being a good algo trader. My process is called the strategy factory, and so it's what I take every time I build a strategy. It takes me from goals to a tradable strategy. And today, what I'm going to be testing is the process of limited feasibility testing so it's just going to be one step in my overall process now i've said this before but you've probably seen a lot of webinars where there's magic entries and you know people show you how great something is i'm not going to do that i'm just going to show you the data and the markets the bar sizes where this actually works okay it doesn't work everywhere it's not magic but it works in enough places that make me think, hey, maybe you can make a strategy out of it. And I've also tested these over the last five years. Now, to get to this point, I tested a whole bunch of different things, counter trends, entries, trend entries, patterns, indicators. I'll, I'll test anything, <clears throat> even some very weird things, but I'll test it, and if it passes... I'll use it okay now this particular entry all they did was it's either long or short so the long entry gets out of any short position before it goes long so it's a stop and reverse it stops your current position and reverses and the entries are symmetric meaning it's the exact mirror image to go long and short and I tested out a whole bunch of different markets different bar sizes in this particular case I ran a three-year test 500,000 back tests and how did I do all those back tests so quickly I use something called multi walk software it's only available to students of my course but it's a great way to test quickly now I should point out before I show you any results that this is only one test in the grand scheme of things this doesn't tell you for sure, oh, this is an entry, this has got to work. It says, hey, you might have something here, but there's a lot of other testing to do. So remember that. A lot of people tend to test just entries real simply, or you know, they don't do exhaustive testing. You've got to have a process, and you've got to do enough testing to show that you really have something. Okay, so let's take a look at this price pattern. It's I'm looking at long-term momentum. That's uh, I always I like using momentum a lot of times, but it's saying that's down. So you're expecting a turnaround here, and then there's what I call a four-pronged price pattern. Uh, and if that occurs, you go long. If the exact opposite happens, you go short. So. Let's take a look at this. I have one input variable that's called input var or input var one. And it's what it's doing here, there's four conditions to it saying if the open is of a certain number of bars back is greater than the current high, and the current open is greater than the close a certain number of bars back, and that close is greater than the low a certain number of bars back. Um, this will probably almost always be true now that I look at it. And the low is greater than the current close. When all those things happen, you get an entry. And if you want to see what that looks like, you'd actually have to, to program it and check it out. 
use like a paint bar or show me in trade station and it'll show you where that holds up there's the code itself and you can see that I have the the buy up at the top the sell at the bottom here's an example of a short trade um, yeah not so good huh uh, I mean it went short and the market just went against you so you know but hey you don't know until you test it well if you like what you see so far you're gonna love my free algo strategy and more trading information just hit the QR code or type in the address you see and you'll get signed up to my email list and get lots of free algo trading information so I tried 40 different values of that input var 1 so different uh, comparisons to the current bar with all those four prong things and if a, enough of them show a profit maybe I have something that's kind of a robustness test and it doesn't tell you for sure you have something good it just says you might so here's where it worked um, I know I mentioned it was a three-year test I believe it was actually a five-year test so that might have been a typo earlier I apologize for that but you can see like with platinum it worked on all eight markets feeder cattle which is kind of a weird one a lot of people don't trade that worked all eight markets rough rice which not a lot of people trade at all but I do have a couple strategies for that it six different bar sizes worked and orange juice six different bar sizes uh, so it works in a variety of markets and a variety of bar sizes most of the the best ones seem to be at the 1440 minute or the daily bar uh, and there is a difference by the way between 1440 minute bars and daily bars which uh, hopefully you know about and if you don't uh, you should learn about that because that there's an important distinction there so it works in a bunch of different cases now obviously entries are important here but remember the key and if you've watched some of my other videos you've seen me say this over and over again you're like he's so boring he says the same thing all the time but I'm all about process it's not the entries themselves that are gonna make you money it's the process and you have a process for building strategies that you always follow that's how you get true success in algo trading that's my process you can follow it you can use it obviously there's a lot of details in there but a lot of people out there follow this general process and it leads to more success than if you just haphazardly test things so don't do that now could you develop it yourself could you do this yourself oh absolutely and there's the steps to do it the problem is it's very difficult and I know because this is how I did things I used to, to just optimize the heck out of everything and go and trade it and I found out well that doesn't work then I kept refining what I was doing and eventually I came up with a process that was repeatable that worked for me turns out it works for other people too and it creates good strategies now it doesn't mean every strategy you create is going to be good you're still gonna have losers but it gives you an edge compared to a lot of people out there who are just optimizing like crazy so I hope you like this video go and test this entry let me know how it works for you I'm kind of curious all right I'm Kevin Davey thanks for watching